I have never had champagne with mitts on. Not ridiculous. I mean, Alaska. Good morning. It's Glacier Bay Day. Good morning. On an Alaskan cruise. I guess this is where the rubber meets the road, or should I say the ice meets the water, the climax of the cruise. We get to see all this snow and ice. So far the pictures out the bow camp look pretty interesting. It looks chilly, so I have all the layers I brought with me, minus my mitts. That's the only thing left to make me warmer. Yeah, so we're gonna go head up um, up top right now. So we reserved a cabana for today. We're quite excited to try that cabana life while looking at Glacier Bay for the day. So we're gonna head up now and see what we can get up to. Let's go, see if we get cold. All right. Okay, our bag is packed. A list of things that we aren't carrying that we usually carry in the bag. We have no clips for our sun loungers to hold our towels on. We have no towels. We have no sunscreen. No. We have no snorkel gear. Yes. Our bag must be extremely light today without all those things in it. We've got our heavier things like binoculars and camera gear. Mm -hmm. Different type of cruising. Look what we found. Time to go to the bow. This is one of the few times that the bow of the ship is open. So we just saw the sign for it. We're going to head that way now. Well, we've come into a few people that are coming back from the bow. They look frozen like they've been out snow machining without a helmet or gloves on. So I am putting on more layers as we walk out here. We feel a cold breeze blowing in right it now as we're walking. Cold. No joke, guys. This is no joke. Oh, it's chilly, but it's not that bad. Yeah. <laughs> this is kind of like, I don't know, a cold day in October where we live. This wind is something. Hang out here for an hour. We'll turn around and we'll come back to you. Okay, I see. Yeah. Okay, so that's <laughs> well, we thought we'd pop out here and see if our cabana is ready yet. They're just getting things set up so you can enjoy some of the views. Looks very wet. Very, very wet. So it turns out the cabanas are still not open for another hour. We're still setting things up, so we are going to grab some breakfast in the main dining room. It's really quiet down here on deck, too. I think everybody's upstairs trying to see a little bit of glacial ice. There's our view for breakfast in the main dining room. Okay, breakfast has started to arrive. I ordered some strawberries with yogurt, and I got them separate, so I'm going to combine them. And some tea. And I have the fresh berries and croissants to start with. So as we're in the dining room, there are announcements over the PA system from the US Forest Rangers. They're talking about different features and different things. They're referring to the map, and then you take a look outside and see what they're talking about. A little bit of history and culture and all that all wrapped up in the little bits and pieces that they're throwing here and there across the announcements. Breakfast has arrived. I am having the all Canadian breakfast with the Canadian? yes all Canadian breakfast with my eggs over and some sausage patties. And I am having the sweetest pancakes again because I enjoyed them so much earlier this week. So that's they're delicious and a little bit of bacon. Bacon. Breakfast is done. We are off to try the cabana life again.
Well, we are bundled up in our cabana. Our blankets on. Mrs. Canuck's got her binoculars. And it is pouring rain outside. So we're trying to stay dry. So hopefully the rain stops at least. It's one thing to be chilly, but another thing to be damp and chilly. There's our view in the rain. It's hard to see through the glass right now with all the drops, but we have some tropical fruits. Let's get that first moment if you've ever seen a glacier. What do you think? John Hopkins Glacier. We're just spinning now as it goes by in the rain. I guess as we go by it in the rain. We go by in the rain. It's not moving very fast. You see it? I can see it. What's it look like? Some ice, still some dirt. Ice, still dirt. So it looks a little bit like an Oreo. <laughs> Mint flavored Oreo. Mint flavored Oreo. <laughs> Let's see if you can see through our cabana there. I'll probably try to give you some better 360 footage of that, <laughs> but this is what we're seeing in real time. The rain picked up a little bit and the timing was just after we saw the John Hopkins Glacier. So we're going to go and get a different vantage point as we move over to the next bay. So we're going to go check out a little more of that sweet life and see how the glaciers look from back there. So far Mrs. Canuck has nailed it so far the best description that I can find which is mint Oreo cookie ice cream flowing down a mountain valley. <laughs> Okay, we've made to Paul and Carol's balcony and we're just sailing away. Pinkies up. <laughs> I have a little espresso. This is how the better half live in the sweet life. A little <laughs> espresso machine right in your room. Hmm. Yeah. Pinkies up is for tea. You're not uh -huh. a tea drinker, you no. know. waving for us. They're, they said they're on their back balcony waving to us. <laughs> yeah, we met um, a couple followers yesterday that are, have an aft balcony like you guys. <laughs> Hi guys. Scott and Matt that we met yesterday are over on the Royal Princess. That beat us up to the glaciers today. They're just heading out of the bay now. So believe it or not, we are almost back in Canada. Almost, <laughs> yep. right up there. There's a glacier here, not the one that everybody takes the photos of, but one that's retreated called the Grand Pacific, I think. Mm -hmm. And that's retreating back in towards Canada. So if you go up that, that river valley off in the distance ahead of the ship right now, you're back in Canada already. So mm -hmm. you've come all this way just to get back to Canada. That's right. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, the big spectacular close up view of the glacier is coming in just a few minutes. I believe it's on the other side of the ship coming up on the, uh, port bow so mm. we're gonna spin around and see it shortly perfect well the rain has stopped but it's definitely a little chillier here cold enough that I've had to finally give in and put on some mitts my Canadian mitts but yeah we're about to do the big spin I think it's we're gonna see Marjorie Glacier I believe if I heard that right there we go starboard side Canada off in the distance 
and see we're going to see the big view of the glacier coming into view. The sun's starting to come out here just in time for the spectacular views of Marjorie Glacier. Mm -hmm. There we go. I just calved a second ago. Not 10 seconds after I turned off the camera, so I'm hoping it happens again. Well, that's how it goes, <laughs> isn't it? Back to our cabana. We are done with glaciers. We did see some calving. You're not going to see it because we don't have footage of it. I <laughs> turned my camera off and about two minutes later it calved. So I turned the camera back on and then of course it never calved again. So I think that's the law of the glaciers. <laughs> Time for lunch though. That's what I focused on. Yeah. My hands are cold. So I officially have cruised far enough north that my hands got really cold. Okay. Luckily I have my mitts. Okay, so we're here in our cabana, watching a little bit of Alaska go by. Mm -hmm. And we've ordered some lunch now. So there is some meatloaf on the Ooh, buffet. He so there you found go. meatloaf. And I grabbed a pepperoni pizza from the New York deli. And I'm having a arugula and prosciutto pizza. And we're going to share a club sandwich over here. There you go. Time to eat. Okay, we're back from the freezing cabana experience. <laughs> now we're going to the spa to hop in a hot tub and warm up. Mm -hmm. My nose is still cold enough that it's running. That's how cold it is in the cabana right now. Oh, you poor baby. Now I have to go warm up in the spa, but then Mrs. Canuck's gonna make me go back to the cabana to get some frozen strawberries. No, frozen strawberries, chocolate covered strawberries. Chocolate Come strawberries or frozen grapes. Let's go. That's what I need. I need my grapes microwave today. <laughs> Okay, we are done with the spa. That was quick, about 15, 20 minutes there. Mrs. Canuck has gone back up to the cabana because she seems to like the cold. And I've got my warm gear back on again. One of the perks with the cabanas, regardless if it's hot tropical or cold Alaska, is the chocolate covered strawberries and the uh, Prosecco that's included. So we're going back into cash up on that before we get go and get ready for tonight, because tonight is formal night, or dressing night, I believe Colin America calls it. Off we go. <laughs> Feels like it's raining out here again. We can't win with the cabana today. Okay. You brought the rain back again. Hmm. It's drizzling. Did you eat all the chocolate strawberries already? I didn't see anything. Huh. Okay. Found your hat, did you? Yeah. That might keep me warmer if I had my hat on. So I am dressed up with everything I brought with me for warm weather. And this one has a bathroom. <laughs> we just came into the hot tub. I'm still hot. Not me. Feel my hands. They're like on fire. Well, they're really hot too. Mine are cold already. I got to put my mitts on. <laughs> hot. Okay, our chocolate covered strawberries have arrived. But I think they're chocolate rice krispies. They ran into strawberries, I believe they said. Mm -hmm. And is this Prosecco? It said champagne. But champagne is the right word. I have never had champagne with mitts on. You're ridiculous. Not ridiculous. I'm in Alaska. 
You want to cheers me? Do I want to cheers you? Mm -hmm. Not if you make fun of me. Cheers you. Cheers you. Cheers to warmer days. Good evening. Oh, good evening. I have finally warmed up. <sighs> I took put my, putting my suit on, but I'm finally there. Mr. Tough Canadian guy didn't handle it too well today, guys. Yeah. yeah. The wind went right through me. Aww. I was outside getting all that footage, frozen to the core. Aww. Other people inside watching. Other people inside watching. I was outside the whole time, but I might have followed the advice of a lot of our followers that said dress in layers, and I had multiple layers on. So I was toasty warm. I had three layers. Mm, no, I don't think so. You just had a t-shirt and your rain jacket. Rain jacket, pants, underwear. Three that layers. doesn't, no, that's not what I'm counting, <laughs> talking about. That doesn't count. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, I had mitts. Yes. Mm -hmm. Luckily, mm -hmm. you had to borrow mitts because oh. he forgot to pack his mitts, so luckily we had to borrow them mm. on our way here. Mm -hmm. So, end of the story, I survived. Survived. The got harshness in. of Alaska. Oh, yeah. I was... did battle with the elements of the, what do they call it? the last frontier so and I survived so that's good oh man yeah you had it rough mm. you know hanging outside on a on an aft balcony getting all that beautiful footage and then going in and having a hot chocolate and then going into the the uh, spa and sitting in a mineral pool for a while you're a rough day didn't you some people do battle with the last frontier in style so <laughs> So now we're off, and we're gonna have a cocktail before we grab a. F before we have mm. our formal night dinner in the main dining room. Mm -hmm. This is the last of our formal nights. It is. Dressy night, I believe they call it. it they do. Mm -hmm. So let's get going. We're a little behind schedule, and we'll make this evening happen. Let's go. We'll start at the bottom with the silvery sparkly shoes. Move on up to the half length lace blue dress. Is that right? Color great? It's navy. Blue's a type of navy. And sparkly silver purse. We have found a pre dinner cocktail Crown Royal and Diet. What are you having? I am having the Gin 150, is what it's called, which is supposed to be one of Holland America's anniversary drink cocktails. Sailing away from Glacier Bay at this time. It almost looks like Mrs. Canuck has three glasses of wine in front of her. <laughs> One, two, three. And my Crown Royal. Well, that's yours. <laughs> and that's mine. But uh, yes. Yes, it. our pre dinner drinks carried over to the dining room and they brought us wine, so we are double fisted right now. We're about to dive into a little bit of bread. My appetizer has arrived. I'm having the Caesar salad and... I'm having the shrimp cocktail. Okay, our mains have arrived and I am having ricotta and spinach tortelloni with some roasted vegetables underneath. And over here... I'm having the beef tenderloin with some grilled shrimp, some green beans, and I believe they are turnip. Hey, no dessert for me tonight, but this is Fancy Pants. It's got something over here for you. I went with the artisan cheese platter tonight. When dinner is done in the main dining room. We have stopped by the Dutch Cafe for a little bit of a nibble. I'm sitting here waiting for Mrs. Canuck and Paul and Carol are supposed to join us. For a bit of a cocktail, post-dinner cocktail, we'll call it. So here at the Dutch Cafe, minding my business with a nice little healthy brand muffin and some Crown Royal. And someone, look at this. Come on, guys. Does this not look better than a silly old bran muffin over there? <laughs> what is that called? Some kind of triple berry something something. I don't know. It's, triple berry pancake or something like that? It's called Whipped Heaven, I believe. Whipped Heaven. And Polly Morgan came just in time to help me eat this because this is crazy looking. <laughs> Oh, 
What time is it? No why? <laughs> is it before 1 a.m.? <laughs> before 2 a.m.? Yes. Deck six, more the deck. Did that British couple keep us up late again? <laughs> Every time we hang out with British people, we get in trouble. With more than one British couple tonight. I know. Time check. Quarter after one. Did you have a watch on? <laughs> I think it's late in the quarter after one. No, it's quarter after one. Look it. <laughs> Is it? Here's my watch. Your watch stopped. No, it did not stop. It's a quarter after one. Oh, so fun night, formal night. We did dinner in the dining room. Mm hmm And that went well. You know, I would have preferred some fried bologna with some fried potatoes, but no, they didn't have that tonight. Gross. <laughs> oh, can you imagine? So after that, we did oh, a lot of different entertainments. We did the music walk that Holland America does well. Yes. We did not see the main theater show. It was Humanity. We've seen that before. So yeah, if you want to see that, three times. Yeah, check out our previous vlogs. You can see the Humanity snippets. Mm -hmm. And we caught the Rolling Stone rock band that we've enjoyed a lot. We caught a little bit of BB King. And we, now it's one fifteen. One fifteen, she says, but I don't really believe her. It is one fifteen. <laughs> Do I need to take my watch off and show it to everybody? No, my watch is showing a little bit later. Here we are. One fifteen. Hmm. So that's it. And tomorrow is catch a can. Yes. So it's interesting because tomorrow it's kind of a half tender. And half port day. Yeah, so what we hear is we don't arrive in Ketchikan till 11 a.m. But if you're wanting to get off the ship between 11 and 1 30, you have to take a tender. And then after 1 30, apparently we will be moving and going to a dock. Yeah. Which is something that in all of our cruises has mm -hmm. never happened before. So that'll be interesting. We'll have to film that and tell you all about that when we see how that plays out tomorrow. Yes. But yeah, I was kind of uh, a little puzzled by that announcement. But uh, Yeah, so we are not really love you tender type of people. So mm -hmm. we'll kind of wait till the port happens, I think. Yeah, so this is the one port that we don't have an excursion booked. So because we thought we would just get off and explore Ketchikan on our own. So I think, you know, we've had the spa package this week and we've only been to the spa a very short time just because we've been so busy seeing the ports and then of course wanting to be outside all day today for Glacier Bay. So maybe tomorrow will be a spa morning. What do you think? Let's try sleeping. We'll figure that out in the morning. <laughs> That's yeah. what I think. We'll see how it goes. Okay. So thanks for following along today on our sea day or Glacier Bay day. So kind of a sea day, Glacier kind of a, day. our first experience of doing a sea day that's not really a sea day. Just before you close, okay. I just have to give a little shout out to Paul and Carolyn. Thank you so much for inviting us to your beautiful aft balcony to experience Glacier Bay in all its glory with you. It was wonderful to see it, but it was even more wonderful to see it with such great friends and have such a wonderful visit while seeing something so spectacular. So thank you. Paul and Carol for that. We loved it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we're having mm -hmm. a wonderful time and we're enjoying every moment with them. Mm -hmm. And we're going to miss them, I'm sure, when this is all over. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, so, so good night and join us tomorrow for Ketchikan, which is our last stop at a port on this cruise. Yeah. So, last stop in Southeast Alaska. Yeah. So, good night. We'll see you first thing in the morning. Good night, everyone.